as central government is increasing efforts to mitigate the impact of drought on Namibians. It wants the state-owned agencies to meet it halfway by ensuring that they deliver on their mandates. The green schemes in the Kavango East region were established to ensure food security in the country and government is expecting returns on this investment. AgriPro Namibia, a private company contracted to manage the Shitemo Green Scheme irrigation project, says before operations could commence on large scale, it first had to deal with potential claims and conflict as a result of change in management. The company took over from the late businessman Aaron Mushimba's company six months ago and inherited a loss of about $8 million. However, the project's manager assured the minister that all loan accounts, claims and taxes have since been sorted out. We must stop the losses to the tune of $8 million in the business. So to make sure that we can work and continue and invest in the uh, in the green scheme project as per the business plan and as per the wish of the minister. The small scale farming component in the green scheme management is not visible as it should be to commence production. So far only a layout plan has been developed. We have done the, the drawing for the infrastructure, the planning is done, the costing is also done for, 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 for the small scale farm. So, and, um, we are, engaged, we are engaging the permanent secretary for, for when it comes now to making money available to, put, to start now with the tender process and, and to develop this, this component. The minister, John Mutora, is not blaming the new company, but is not happy. I would have been happy if after the drawing, after this drawing, whether it is through your managing director or through the chairperson of the board or through the permanent secretary, mm -hmm. I would have been briefed that as far as the term was concerned, these are the drawings, that's where we are, and the costing, as you are saying, I must have been briefed, this is the costing, so that, because I'm the head of that ministry, then we can together start to plan now the budgeting and the other things. Nobody informed me about the drawings, that the drawings are finished. The company paid electricity for small-scale farmers and bought diesel for them at no-cost recovery basis. For this year, 320 hectares of groundnuts were planted, which will produce about 70% of groundnuts in Namibia. Furthermore, the company is busy preparing land to plant wheat and maize in December. Meanwhile, about 584 hectares have been planted with different crops, and 160 hectares allocated to small-scale farmers in the last planting season at Donga Linena irrigation project. However, insufficient electricity supply hampered the process of increasing the planting process. Blanche Corres, NBC News.